everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a wonderful Monday thus far. And so we will be talking about the likelihood of the tropics coming to life next week. So there is some consistency in this possibly happening and isn't a surprise because we are in the month of August. We're going to the late part of this month when we typically see an increase in activity. So I will be breaking down what the various models are showing, mainly the Euro and GFS, the main models and so before I go into details Okay, and so now we are starting off with a view of the Atlantic Basin right now. And we are seeing that we have some showers and thunderstorms noted across sections of the North Atlantic. And what was previously known as Invest 98L has accelerated inland into Texas. And uh, we're seeing some convection associated with it. So that might be bringing some inclement weather to sections of Texas and maybe even northeastern Mexico as well. And also in the South Caribbean, going over into the eastern Pacific, we see quite a bit of uh, shower and thunderstorm activity uh, likely induced by a tropical wave that is noted within that region and then going all the way east to the coast of Africa we have quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place there and so things are pretty quiet right now no new tropical cyclones are expected imminently however confidence is increasing that next week we could see something uh, try to get about there and so let's go ahead and take a look at what our two major models are expecting so we will be starting off with the GFS and so this is the model run and this map might be a little bit confusing but we're mainly focusing on those colors that you're seeing those greens the yellows and we're also looking at those black lines doing those swirly motion thingies and those lines are called isobars and isobars are lines of equal pressure and so once we have a pressure of 10 13 millibars or lower and we see that we have closed isobars which is uh, that circular pattern and it is located within the tropics there's a good chance that that is a tropical cyclone and so those green colors generally indicate moisture or precipitation so let's go ahead and look at this and this is by next sunday on the 21st of august and we're seeing that there is quite a bit of moisture noted off the coast of africa so that is where our wave is going to be coming from heading to thursday of next week on the 25th here we have a 10 13 millibar low pressure system more than likely or tropical wave but we're seeing that it is not very significant however behind it we see some activity going on off the coast of africa so another wave about to emerge by that point and then head into saturday on the 27th the end of next week we are seeing that that second wave is developing out there very interesting and then go into the final week of August, we're seeing that on Monday the 29th, we have the system uh, having a minimum pressure of 995 millibars at this time. And above it, we see that H, that blue H, and that is indicating the high pressure system, uh, the Bermuda high. And the stronger we have a high pressure system out there, uh, the more these tropical cyclones will be steered towards the west. And that would put the Caribbean uh as an area that should be keeping an eye on this and again this is just a prediction this is what the model run is forecasting it is not exactly what is going to be happening out there so let's head further to the last day of the month wednesday the 31st of august and we're seeing that that high pressure system is drifting a little bit closer to the azores region right there so we might have some sort of west northwestward or northwestward motion with this system here but overall we have gfs expecting a conducive environment ahead of that wave when it is going to be immersion by uh, maybe the early to middle part of next week and then behind that know that we have another low pressure area develop in a 10 10 millibar low pressure system so uh, as I said, this is just a prediction, but this is not something surprising because we are approaching the latter part of August and this is typically what to expect, an increase in tropical cyclone activity. So there is no certainty, uh, there is no absolute certainty that this is going to be happening, that this is going to be the track or the intensity, but uh, GFS is becoming a little bit consistent with this happening. So as of right now when I'm recording this video, the Euro model run is not really, uh, not fully ready going all the way 
way out to the 10 day mark so i will be showing the ensemble tracks now for the euro and so when we're looking at all these l's these are the various members and that dark blue is indicating tropical storm force winds and we're seeing that quite a bit of these available members are expecting that uh we will maybe see a tropical depression or tropical storm out there by that time and take a look behind this group we see that we have members hopping onto something else emerging off Africa, similar to what the GFS is showing. But as of right now, there is quite a bit of dry air that is out there. So go into the dry air map now, and we're seeing that the main development region is being dominated by it, which is indicated by those colors, the yellows, oranges, the reds. So when we have an abundance of dry air, that typically inhibits moisture development, and moisture is something that tropical cyclones need to fuel them. So so with all of this dry air out there, that is the reason things are quiet and the current tropical waves really have no chance to develop right now. But as we're going to be heading into next week, there might be a more favorable environment where we have decreased dry air and more of a moist environment. But the GFS was showing that first tropical wave out there and that would probably pave the way for the next tropical wave that they're expecting to develop. So we really have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be. Uh, but that is what the model is showing. And in terms of the GFS ensemble tracks, they're expecting that we will have that system out there. So we really have to wait and see, as I said. Uh, there is no guarantee that this is going to be taking place, but uh, the development potential of the system will all be dependent on the various conditions. Talking about the moisture, the wind shear, and also the ocean temperatures. And so speaking of ocean temperatures, ocean temperatures are definitely favorable out there. Uh, September is the peak of the hurricane season. And of course, uh, being the peak of the season means that's the time when conditions are most favorable favorable to allow for tropical waves to develop into tropical cyclones and we need to definitely start paying attention to the tropics especially with this new consistency in a wave maybe trying to develop sometime next week guys so of course i'm going to be keeping you posted on all of that uh, that is expected and of course the next name on the list is still danielle we are waiting on myself so let's see if we will have danielle finally developing as we're going to be heading into next week or maybe the following week but i think that it is certainly possible that we are going to be seeing something out there as before this month ends i definitely think we will have development uh before the end of august and so guys, that is really it for this update's video. So again, things are currently quiet, but we have our main models kind of picking up on something out there and there is some sort of a consistency with that happening. And in terms of that, potential system being a threat to land it'll all be dependent on the strength of the high pressure the overall development is just going to be due to the availability of all the conducive conditions that would normally enable tropical cyclogenesis and so guys if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weather wise and i will keep you updated as time goes by